Well, many Ohioans who attended the rally turned chaos in D.C. are back home today. Their opinions of how things went vary greatly from the opinions of people involved in past protests for social justice that have happened around the country in the last year. Brandon Simmons is here with perspective from both sides. It was peaceful, loving. People were singing, praying together. It's an opinion that doesn't match videos showing what took place in our nation's capital yesterday, but one shared by many of those who made the trip to Washington. It was a great day. We went there to rally, to have a peaceful rally. That's what we did. A handful of knuckleheads ruined it for everybody, gave it a black eye. You can't take that away from us. But let's face it, there were more than a handful of bad actors involved in the chaos at the Capitol, being referred to as an insurrection by many politicians, an infamous event some say wouldn't have happened if all protests got the same treatment from law enforcement. And it's just unconscionable that we're even having a conversation today about the fact that individuals were able to breach the Capitol, make it inside, sit at the desk of the Speaker of the House, and do all of that really um, virtually unscathed. Danielle Sidnor heads Cleveland's NAACP branch. She feels the lack of preparedness by law enforcement was deliberate, based on the typical response at protests for social justice seen nationwide this past year. If to me, this looks like a very intentional choice not to put in place the type of militarized police vehicles and presence that we generally see at really uh, things that start off as peaceful, peaceful protests in communities across the country. Mario Innocenzi said a majority of people, including the group he was with, were peaceful, an argument that can be made for most protests. And while Innocenzi is willing to condemn the actions of those who entered the Capitol, they got to be punished for what they did. Others who declined interviews weren't willing to say as much, a major issue for those who watched our democracy get pushed to the brink. The thing that's really uh, concerning to me is the number of individuals who think that nothing, nothing wrong happened yesterday. Now, I spoke to Congressman David Joyce today about the preparedness of law enforcement's response yesterday, and he says an investigation is needed to understand exactly what went wrong, but he did agree Capitol Police didn't have the necessary manpower, and they have to take steps to make sure something like this never, never happens again, Jay. All right, Brandon Simmons, thanks. We'll see you again at 6 on What Matters Most.